Steamboat Geyser's cataclysmic eruption stuns USGS geologists, sparks Yellowstone fears. Steamboat Geyser. Steamboat Geyser. Is Steamboat Geyser. What's spectacular about Cistern is that it seems connected to Steamboat Geyser. Yellowstone's infamous Steamboat Geyser has erupted with unparalleled force, sending scalding water and towering plumes of steam over 400 feet into the sky in what experts are calling the most violent geyser eruption in modern history. This unexpected event, which took place earlier today, has stunned USGS geologists, who are now scrambling to assess whether this eruption is a sign of deeper geological unrest beneath Yellowstone's volatile surface. A record-shattering eruption. The steamboat geyser, already the world's tallest active geyser, shattered its own records as it erupted with a ferocity unseen in decades. Park rangers and visitors were left in awe as deafening jets of steam and boiling water erupted continuously for nearly an hour, far exceeding its typical eruption duration. Witnesses described an earth-shaking roar, followed by violent tremors beneath their feet, which some initially mistook for an earthquake. I've never seen anything like it," said park visitor Mark Lawson, who was standing near the Norris Geyser Basin when the eruption began. The ground was trembling, and then suddenly, this enormous column of water shot into the sky. It felt like a volcanic eruption. USGS Geologists in Disbelief Geologists monitoring Yellowstone's geothermal activity were caught completely off guard by the sheer magnitude and intensity of the eruption. The U.S. Geological Survey USGS, field team, stationed nearby, immediately began recording data, but even their most advanced instruments struggled to capture the full scale of the blast. This eruption was on an entirely different level, said Dr. Emily Carter, a leading USGS geologist specializing in hydrothermal systems. We've seen steamboat erupt before, but this was something else. You get a very vigorous steam phase, and that's what we're seeing right now. The steam phase might last actually for just a couple of days. The sheer energy release, the duration, and the unexpected seismic activity that followed have left us with more questions than answers. Is Yellowstone's supervolcano awakening? Adding to the scientists' concerns, seismic sensors around the park detected unusual ground movement in the hours following the eruption. Several small but significant tremors were recorded, suggesting that deep hydrothermal pressures might be building beneath the park's surface. While USGS officials have not yet confirmed any direct link to Yellowstone's supervolcano, The event has raised alarms among geologists monitoring the park's underground magma chamber. This could be a sign of shifting hydrothermal activity, or something much bigger, Dr. Mice Wos, we're not ruling anything out. Visitors evacuated as danger looms. Due to the unprecedented power of this eruption, Yellowstone officials have temporarily closed off the Norris Geyser Basin citing concerns about unstable ground and potential further eruptions. One unnamed park ranger reported seeing newly formed cracks near the geyser's base, fueling concerns that pressure buildup beneath the earth could trigger additional hydrothermal explosions. What happens next? USGS scientists are now closely monitoring seismic data from Yellowstone, analyzing whether this eruption is an isolated event or a precursor to something far more dangerous. For now, visitors are urged to exercise extreme caution when visiting Yellowstone. As the park's volatile geothermal features remain highly unpredictable, With scientists racing to decode Yellowstone's warning signs, one question remains. Was this just a freak eruption, or the beginning of something far more catastrophic?
Stay tuned for updates as the situation unfolds.